Winter 17, paper 1, 1, question 14. Diagram shows a motorized vehicle for carrying one person. All right, so this human being is on site here, okay, sure, and is moving in this direction. The vehicle has two wheels on the axle, sure. Passenger stands on a platform between the wheels, okay. The weight of the machine is 600 newton. The center of mass is 200 mm in front of the axle. Okay, so this is represented by this 600 n arrow. When stationary, the passenger of weight 600 newton stands with his center of mass. So I'm going to change color for passenger. 600 newton stands with his center of mass 200 mm behind the axle to balance the machine. Makes sense. They will have same amount of torque. 600 newton because this is the axle, so it's pretty obvious where the pivot is because the wheel will rotate. 600 newton will turn clockwise. These are this weight will turn counterclockwise. They balance up. Okay, the motor is now switched on. We on the motor already. To provide a horizontal force of nine hundred newton at the ground. Okay, I gotta label this. I gotta label this nine hundred new nine nine hundred plus ninety newton at the ground. Okay, where is the ground here? Okay. Where's the direction of the force? We want to move the vehicle forward. Okay, so this direction of the force has to be forward because the wheel is going to move forward. Move the vehicle forward. So this is my 90 Newton. We need to move the vehicle forward. Okay. All right. So now, how far and in which direction must the passenger move his center of mass to maintain balance? Okay, so the reason why we got out of balance, initially we were balanced, we were happy, we were chilled. But now we are out of balance because of this extra 90 Newton. So I want to find the torque due to 90 Newton and counterbalance it to the 90 Newton which is uh, 90 times, again, we measure the perpendicular distance from the center of the axle or the pivot. This is 400 mm. So very big wheel, bro. It's 40 cm. Bigger than my head. Okay, anyway. Da -da -da. anyway. Do, do I need to convert units? Oh, no need. This one is mm. I'm going to stick to mm, okay? So, okay, now, 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 try convert. So, now, sorry, moment of confusion or laziness. I would hope to not convert, but then because I see all this answer is mm, but now my I convert. La. Okay, so this one will be 36 Newton meter. I'm sorry, Newton meter. Okay, so we have to counterbalance this because this 36, oh, we need to counter it with this person moving. So I guess what you could do is if you want to maintain equilibrium, I can always obviously use clockwise moment is equal to anti-clockwise moment. So what causes the wheel to turn clockwise? Okay, so number one, this 90 Newton will cause it to turn this way. Or the whole system, if you consider the, the entire system, right, it will cause it to turn in this direction. Okay? This 60 Newton, 600 Newton, will turn in this way, the yellow color 600 Newton. But the green color 600 Newton will also turn in this way. Meaning, right, I need this distance. Let me zoom in a bit. This distance is your 200 mm. I need to bring it closer. Closer to counterbalance that 36 Newton meter. Okay? If let's say you don't want to think about subtracting or counterbalance, I will just do this. Lah. Okay? So clockwise is this one. Anticlockwise is this one. 
and this one. Okay. Time to write an equation. So anti-clockwise clockwise will be 600 multiplied by 200 mm. I know this is mm. I will cancel it out later. Okay. Counterclockwise will be 90 times 400. Or if you want, you can put 36 plus 600. But this 600 is lean forward a bit. Okay. This 600 has to decrease... This 600, this number here, what should I do? Okay, this number, this distance can no longer be 200. Because if I put 200 inside the red bracket, this equation cannot equal. Okay, so this one must be less than 200. Okay, so I'm just going to put X. Lah. <laughs> but I expect this number to be less than 200. No? So, and all of this is in mm, mm, so X will also be in mm. Okay, time to press calculator. No, no, no. Time to cancel the zeros. Bye bye, zero. Bye bye, zero. Bye bye, zero. So we have one, two, zero, zero. Divide. No, minus 90 times 4. Divide by 6. So we have x as 140 and n. Plot twist. This is not the answer, okay? And because I have a bigger drawing, I'm going to crop this one and put it here. Why do I say this is not the answer? Well, the 140 mm is the new center of mass. So this 60, this 600 Newton is no longer here. Not here now he needs to lean forward to decrease x. Okay? So x has decreased from 200, from this 200, has changed to 140. Okay? So this means this distance now is 140 mm. And to get 140 mm, I need to lean forward by 60 mm because 140 plus 60 is 200 okay so i have to lean forward by 160 mm sorry by 60 mm that's the question the answer would be b okay so let's repeat before this whole thing started human balanced the weight of the motor or the unicycle or the one wheel or the motorized vehicle and everything is good and the world is in equilibrium. Then we turn on the motor. The motor has this 90 Newton extra. And this 90 Newton extra is acting forward, okay, so that the <laughs> this thing will move forward. Lah. And the question say is between the wheel and the ground. So I will label the 90 Newton here. So 90 Newton will travel forward. If the 90 Newton travels forward, then what this tells me is that the um, extra torque is here. And if I check the direction, it is same direction counterclockwise to the 600 Newton. Okay? So you can use uh, various methods to figure out whether something is clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay? So this extra 90 Newton will be at the counterclockwise or anti-clockwise one. And to cancel out this one, this distance of X have to be less than 200. The new value of X is 140. So in order to get 140, we must move forward by 60 mm. And yes, they are very sneaky. They put some 140 here. Just as a troll. They be, they be doing that a lot, lah, guys. <laughs>